Well, welcome back to another Dino Days video. And today in the house is this FN2, which has had some modifications. So let's go find out what it's had before it hits the dyno. Well, there's all sorts of stuff on the floor. As you can see, old exhaust system. We've also got a Skunk 2 induction kit. Lots of bits on the floor there. Let's have a look at the exhaust. Now, it's had a Tegua, a, a, a Tegua 4 to 1, mated to a Tegua 70mm exhaust system. Beautiful and shiny, and still the best value for money you can buy for an FN2. This is a good bit of kit. It's well made. We enjoy fitting them because generally they do exactly what they say on the tin and make some power because it is 70mm. Mated to the DCAT 4 to 1, we're expected to make a little bit of power. Uh, and it's also had a Tegua, not a Tegua, it's had a Skunk 2 induction kit. So when this car comes down in a moment, we'll have a look at that. Well, there we go, another FN2 in the bag. This one's got um, Skunk 2 induction kit on it now that Richard has fitted. It's also got a Tegua 4 to 1 and a Tegua 70 mil. So came in stock. Yeah, it's one of the races in my discuss. Jensen's booked a holiday. I don't think that's acceptable. Well, listen, man, as your line manager, you could have refused this holiday. Yeah, well, I had to look at his face then, wouldn't I, if mm, I had to refuse this holiday. Yeah. So he's, he's off to Silverstone for the Grand Prix with his dad for the weekend. He was sending us photographs of opening cans of Colesberg at 9am this morning. He was, yeah. Good so on him, good on him. So he's going to be in a mess, for sure. <laughs> good but on the him. good thing is that won't be our problem. No, it won't be our problem. Yeah, so we fitted, or I should say I fitted today, a Skunk 2 induction kit, 
a Tegua four to one decap manifold and a Tegua seventy mil. Yeah, and then tuned. Uh, tuned using ECU tech, so we've obviously done that today. Uh, we didn't run this car in standard form this morning, obviously, because we've got a lot of work to do, and obviously we we're going to look at mapping it. And I didn't want to make it any hotter than it already was for me to do the exhaust and everything else. So. We didn't run in standard form. We ran in what we would class as standard map, but obviously with the modifications on it. Um, what did that make at that point? Do you remember? Peak power. About 174 wheel horsepower. Yeah, as in, as in our peak points. Uh, but obviously we made a, a ton in the mid-range, about 25 brake in the mid-range. Yeah. Again, though, based on those modifications being on the car. So obviously by the time you change the manifold exhaust and the induction kit, it's gonna make more power. you're going to make more power anyway. Because it's leaner. Uh, yeah, because you generally make more power anyway, and you've obviously, you know, increased flow, so you're going to make a bit more there. Uh, there's certain points on the graph where we sort of almost touch back where it was previously, but again, those modifications have opened power up there. Uh, but we made on the get-go, and we certainly made at top end, so I'm happy We with finished that. just shy of 220 brakes, something like 217.8 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but... Because it's Ecotech, he's got flat foot shifting, he's got auto blip down throttle, he's mm -hmm. got adjustable launch control, control on the steering wheel. I think the next step for this is a RRC, isn't it, Manifold? It just, they just unlock a load of power. They're worth 10 brake. That'll, that'll get him up towards the, the 230 mark. It's definitely the next best mod to buy, oh, for agreed. sure. Absolutely agreed, yeah. Um, which was just yesterday, I suppose, when we uh, do his bill. And I think I've had a sort. chat with him. He's been here all day. I've been speaking to yeah, him yeah. and he's been asking questions and... Uh, yeah, I said the RRC is is next for this. Mm. Uh, I tell you what, that one that one in the Uncle Keith's paint shop is coming on nicely, isn't it? Uh, yeah, seems to be. Uh, got the wings fitting yesterday and cleaned up and got them like on the car and test fitted. Because by now these guys have seen mod fixes video. Yeah, they've seen mod fixes. We do what a car. Yeah, I did a fiberglass front end on the one we did yesterday, so we're just getting that fitting and everything. I think Keith Prime those last night. He's been flatting today. He was going back in and doing the because the GP kit is going gloss black. Mm. Bit of a spoiler is going gloss black. He's basically dealing with all the gloss black accents before mm. the car. I won't say what colour the car's going, but before, the flat bit's a Nighthawk black. Yeah, a Nighthawk black. And then he's going in, he's going back in, uh, obviously, then to do the car. Mm. I'm but looking forward to showing you guys that mm. one. If you think that like, Mod Fixes is a one in a million outstanding piece of class. And I love it. So I hope you guys love Modfix's car as well. This one, a little bit more subtle, but still a transformation. It'll be a nice, it'll be a nice end result mm, for sure. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look at that grass. Let's do that. Well, there we go. Red line is as she came in. Blue line is as she leaves. Plenty of power in the mid-range there. And we finish it on 217.5 brake horsepower, 186 at the wheels. Code word for this one is going to be Johnny Tegua because he supplied the inlet manifold. Uh, sorry, he, su well, he's, he supplied the four to one manifold and also the Tegua 70 mil. It's got his name on it. So, Johnny Tegua. You know, when you're looking for a bit of three inch pipe and you can't remember what you've done with it, you look around and say, oh, I'm not sure I had a bit of three inch pipe. And then you remember that, yeah, you made a, a trumpet for the MX-5 to get the... There it is, mate. Yeah, there, there's that metre of... Found it. That's that metre of three inch that I thought I've got. Yeah. So, in fact, you can you can choose the code word. You can either put Johnny Tegua or Richard's three inch. Because <laughs> he's found his three inch at last. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you all on the next one, won't we, Rich? Yes, we will. Boy, I'll see you again. Life moves pretty fast.